Uh, <laughs> recently, I, I had the opportunity to spend a whole day with the legendary People's Court reporter, Doug Llewellyn. The People's Court, <laughs> this is true, I have a lot of time. The People's Court went off the air last summer, so Doug had a lot of free time. Let's take a look. Now, Judge Wapner, mm -hmm. seems like a very irascible, cantankerous guy. Is, it, is he like that? I remember not too long ago, we had a Halloween party, a costume party at Judge Wapner's house. I arrived and the door opened, and there's Judge Wapner and his wife, and they are dressed up like Mickey and Minnie Mouse. There's Judge Wapner in little red short pants. He's got a black t-shirt, and he's got Mickey Mouse ears on his head. He had the best time at that party, playing Mickey Mouse the whole time. Recently, Judge Ginsburg was appointed to the Supreme Court by President Clinton. Right. Did Judge Wapner feel slighted? Did he feel like he'd been passed over? I don't think so. All I can tell you is what the judge said. He said he didn't want to be on the Supreme Court. He didn't think he would have a ghost's chance of getting there. Hey, is he naked under that robe? Sometimes. Really? But you can't tell when. I can tell. <laughs> Um, but seriously, you know, we have a, uh, have, have you kept up with Rusty oh, since yeah. Oh, yeah. you've kept up with yeah. him? Because we have guy. a special surprise for you today. What's that? Rusty the Bailiff Rusty is the here bailiff. to say hi. Yeah, Rusty? Hi. Rusty? It's Doug. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, how are you? Fine, fine. Surprise seeing you here. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, huh? Not bad, not bad. Semi-close, you know? What do you mean? This is Rusty. You and I better sneak out okay. of here. If you would, just to right. go back to wherever you came from. Bye Take bye. care, Rusty. Bye. <laughs> he told me he was Rusty. I'm sorry. Judge, you can't believe everything everybody tells you. 12 years on the People's Court. What was the most memorable <laughs> case you ever tried? I got bitten by a dog once on camera. And that show caused a humongous outpouring of cards and letters of sympathy, wanting to know how I was. Somebody had injured uh, their neighbor's dog. And so the neighbors filed a suit against them. They came to court. The judge heard the case. And they won their lawsuit. And as they came out, they brought the dog with them. The dog is nervous. OK, it's a strange situation and environment for him. And I'm standing there talking with, with the couple. And the dog is, and it, it was on a wide shot in camera. You can see it. The dog is looking at my kneecap. It was kneecap high. And all, for some reason or other, I shifted my knee. And wham, he went for it. And, and it hurt. No, I, I, I have watch a lot of daytime yet. television now and only people's court. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hang around the house in your V-neck t-shirt and Well, I do eat that. Eat dog a food bit. out of a can. No, I haven't done Stop that. Stop me if I'm going too far. No, no, no. Think, I mean you're trying to make it sound like it's really terrible. It's it's not that bad. Thank okay. goodness. Thank goodness. You know what? We're gonna take good care of you. Today, I hope so. Today we're gonna help you re-enter the work community. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm gonna take good care of you. You right, trust me. Going. People walk out and you ask them questions just like on the show. I mean, uh, it should work. You have a lot of experience. The only thing I haven't worked out is who's going to pay you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Were you satisfied with the judge's decision? I don't know. I wasn't in a case. You weren't in a case? Hi, can I ask you a quick question? Mm. Okay. Mm. What'd you think of the judge's decision? What decision was that? I'm the sorry. one you just had inside. I wasn't in the judge's chambers. What'd you, you think of the judge's verdict? What verdict? The one just happened. Which one? Inside. Inside where? Supreme Court. The building you just came out of. What's it got to do with what the money in my mouth? I don't know. Oh. Why do you have money in your mouth? Hi, can I ask you a quick question? What did the judge, what do you think of the judge's verdict? What verdict? The one that just happened inside. Were you guilty or innocent? For what? What'd you do? Where? In here. Why were you in the Supreme Court? I was using the bathroom. <laughs> I want to know what you felt about the judge's verdict. I wasn't in there. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't think you should touch people. That's the only way to get them to stop. Yeah, but think about it from their perspective. You know, you're grabbing them and holding on to them. Oh, you know? Maybe you're right. I didn't come out of a case. I came out of a courthouse. Yeah, I know. What was going on in there? I was in there doing some business. I'm a court reporter here. Oh, you're a court reporter. I'm a court reporter, too. I know. We could share stories. You're on the people's court. Hey, hey you, you know hey. the people's court? You remember Rusty? Yeah, you were the, you were the bailiff. I told you. <laughs> you're much taller than I thought you were. Yeah, I you, am. You come across kind of short on TV. Really? That disappoints me. What do you think of Rusty? Does he look this good on TV? He looks better in his uniform. Well, I, yeah, I agree. I think so, too. Are you, like, are you unemployed now? Is that why you're That's right. I'm looking for work. I need all the help. I can. Do you need more court reporters in there? You have a real ones. Uh, well, I mean, I'm a real. You don't get any realer than me. No, you're a reporter. I'm a court reporter. Uh-oh. Somebody wants your autograph. 
Take care. He wants Rusty's what? autograph. Oh, you want, you want Rusty's autograph? You want Rusty's autograph from the People's Court? The Rusty Barone. Yes, he is. Hey. I told you. This is wonderful. Like what? Rusty, give him your autograph. Sure thing. I don't have a pen. I got a pen, a pen right pen. here. Oh, boy. I thought I had a pen. Oh, here we go. There we go. There's a pen. All right, quick, quick. If you had it to do over again, would you do anything differently? No. But you didn't think you'd meet Rusty the bailiff today, huh? I thought he was taller. No, he's about this tall. Yeah. Uh, sometimes right. I wear bigger, he, you know, elevator heels. Thank you very much. Good luck. When I tell people that he's Rusty the bailiff, I don't think he should argue. Why not? It, well, it makes people happy. May I ask you a quick question? If you had anything to do differently, would you change it? Would you do anything over again different? Yes, I would. What? Go back to school longer. Good for you. Would you like to meet Rusty the Bailiff? I'm sorry. Here he is. Rusty the Bailiff. This is yeah. Rusty the Bailiff from How the People's so? Court. How you doing? How you That's doing? That's so funny. I'm sorry. I, this is a stupid way for me to make a living. I apologize, everybody. <laughs> no, uh, this is Rusty the Bailiff. I just, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not in you uniform. To That's yeah. why I look different. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. recognize him? Yes, I do. I do. Really? Yeah. And I recognize you too. Good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> quick question. That's your quick question. Can you talk to me? Would you talk to me? What is this about? Would you like to meet Rusty the bailiff? Me. Not I'm not in uniform. I... I don't particularly want to meet Rusty, no. You're the first person I ever talked to that didn't want to meet Rusty. Really? Everybody loves Rusty. You know my Rusty feelings is. are hurt. I'm sorry. You know, this, uh, this isn't working, but I have another idea. What is it? Let's go, I'll show you. I'm with you. Hi, can I talk to you a minute? Hello. Hi, How just did one you second. Think the chef did? I can speak English, sorry. Uh, oh, did yeah. the do you like your lunch? Uh, yeah, like. Very good, very good. That's All right. great. Are you satisfied with the outcome of your meal? Yeah, well, I am. Did you think the chef was fair? Fair for what? For what he gave you. Oh, for that price, I think it's OK. This is you going very okay. well. Good. This is going very well. OK. Don't you feel this is good? Is this a memorable experience for you? This is where I want you to meet Rusty the bailiff. Nice to meet you. Hey, I gotta ask you a question. I'll get this, you watch, here we go. Hi, step out, I wonder if I could ask you a quick question. Do you think the driver treated you fairly on this trip? Uh, uh fine. Sure, yeah. yeah okay. it's a, it's a good Do you think you learned anything as a result of this experience? Uh, well, what did... It's a cat, it's a cab ride. It was fast. If you had it all to do over again, would you do anything differently? Well, I think we'd take a different block. An air-conditioned air taxi. Conditioned. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Uh, miss? You know what you're would in you for. Like to, uh, would you like to meet I'm, Rusty the bailiff? I'm sorry, I don't have time. Uh, he can sing. Rusty sings. Yeah. Go, up. Go, Rusty. I mean, there's still time for you to get a real estate license or something like that if you want it. That. Yeah. No, I don't know. It's just something to think about. I do believe that we're getting there. Do you feel you were able to beat the Wiz? Uh, yeah. Hey, good. you think the Wiz will file a lawsuit against you? For what? Because you beat them. Oh, God bless you and keep you, Mother McCree. Oh, what do you think? Do you feel you learned anything from this experience? I did. Yeah. I really did. Yes, yeah. I did. You're all right with me. Conan, thanks. Thank Hang you. in there. Yeah. I'll see you later. Hope he'll be all right out there. I hope he'll be all right.